Scanning the Globe, bringing you the most important news stories and commentary anywhere. Scholars and Rogue News, the most unbiased reporting of the web today in a blog format so that you can respond and beat the news. We report, you derive. At the moment, Champa is just another downtown street at the height of Denver's rush hour. But before the chickens tuck their heads under their wings to roost for the night, there'll be a line snaking around 10 city blocks as Denver's glitterati turn out to see and be seen for the hottest ticket in town here, between the Peruvian and Indian restaurants at the Bovine Metropolis Theater. It's been called the actor's nightmare. You're on stage in a production you've never rehearsed, with no script and no lines, with people you hate, and an audience that will grind you into hamburger if you don't make them laugh. Most people would rather be buried upside down and naked in a red ant hill face to face with Roseanne Barr than do what these actors do. And they do it for love. I refuse to perform for money or really any other kind of compensation. If you, if you did give me money for what I was doing, I would likely just uh, give it away to restaurants in exchange for food and drink. Well, I consider what I do here charity and I think to get paid for it would be wrong. I love it so much. If they paid me, I'd give the money away to poor people. Um, if, if they paid me, then, then they could tell me what to do and expect me to do it. Some patrons say it's the mix of deep insight and sophisticated humor that makes the bovine metropolis different. Others enjoy the social commentary. I don't know much about drugs. I have never actually used them. But the impression I get is that the people who do use them are very popular. <laughs> Still others like to hear the latest talking points in the never-ending campaign for president. $3.50 a gallon or something. I said, we're going to do something about this. So we came up with, we're talking in the van, you know. And we came up with recreate 58. So, in 1958, gas was 25 cents a gallon. We're going to reduce gas to 25 cents a gallon. Okay? So gas is 25 cents a gallon. The economy's going, whoa! Cough! Oh, Problem solved. America, your past presidents have lied to you. They have lied to you about many, many things. They've lied about weapons of mass destruction. They've lied about the Apollo space program, they thought about the real purpose of the Washington Monument. <laughs> America, I won't lie to you because I don't care what you think. I am going to say what I think regardless of what you think. The Bovine Metropolis isn't your everyday name for a theater, and it presents certain challenges to the people who work there. So tell me, Bruce Brutlock, how do people react when you tell them that you work for a place with bovine in the title? <laughs> At first they're like, well, what, what does that mean? And, and then they're more interested in what it's all about, and once I explain it, they're very interested, and then they want to see a show. Does a word like bovine help you to get more dates? <laughs> um, I've actually never thought about that. Um, no, I, I don't think it does help me to get more dates. Does the word heifer mean anything to you? Wow. Um, no. Just two blocks from here is a Denver Center for the Performing Arts with very high-paid actors who do Shakespeare, Moliere, Ionesco, and Girardieu. But I think I can speak for the cast when I say that none of them would trade positions with those very highly paid actors if they can work at the Bovine Metropolis. Uh, yeah, I'd go somewhere. Of course. I mean, I would love to see my name in lights, because they have lights over there. 
that they put your name on. And so I'm excited, and, and so they can call me any time, and, and that would be wonderful. I haven't heard the phone ring in a long, long time. Uh, they actually pay me in beer and women here, so that is, that is hard to pass up. Uh, much better than fame or fortune. Uh, so I'd, I'd have to stay here, I think. Yeah, it, It's all about what's important to you as a man. Do they pay you in the other women cast members? Oh, God, no. Have you seen them? Um... No. Part of me says yes, and the other part says yes, 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 yes. Did they call? Did somebody call? Did somebody call? Really? Um, no, I, lo- I, lo- I mean, I love this theater, of course. Of course. What was the question? Yes, I'm uh, still young enough to burn bridges, piss all my money away, go to rehab, and beg for forgiveness. You can find the Bovine Metropolis Theater on Champa between the 16th Street Mall and 15th Street, just minutes walk from the Pepsi Center. They'll be running three shows a night the entire time the Democratic National Convention is here, with the last two shows at 10 and 11 o'clock on politics, mostly harpooning Republicans. Advanced tickets for the Bovine Metropolis Theater are cheap, and details are available on their website, www.bovinemetropolis.com. Or just get liquored up and drop by. For Scholars and Rogues News, this is J.S. O'Brien reporting.